Greetings and salutations everyone, I'm Ekamak, this is Let's Play Oxygen Not Included. In the last episode, I don't actually know what happened. It's been a very long time since I've touched the game, I've edited like 20 episodes worth of something ridiculous, and I just have no way of knowing what's going on. Hence why this is probably going to be an episode of me just messing about and trying to figure out exactly what it is I was up to before things went this way. So, we have our sister asteroid here, it seems to be doing okay, and we have the main asteroid here, we have a, hmm, I know I have an incubator around here somewhere, or did I, okay here, we need to try and find a way to store a hook up on a lot of hydrogen for the upcoming project. I need to figure out a way to make a proper um, oxygen creation system because I do actually need to start piping all the oxygen through so to Stinklin so it can start working in the oil biome. But I also need to have Stinklin get its own proper base set up because at the moment we have room for only two. Yeah, oxygen not included at its finest. Sedimentary rock there is so that when I feel like I need it, I can just ship it all straight over to here for the hatch ranches. We can see the surface from here, but it will take a bit more work to get up to there safely. We're probably going to make our first breach the surface on this planet, let's be honest. What are we researching? Right, the oxygen masks. That's why I don't have an oxygen mask station over here. Got it. I don't get what popped your eardrums there. Oh, it's probably that. And speaking of research, I sh So this is a sandbox game. There's no wrong way to play the game. As long as you're doing it your own way, then you should be having a... Doing things your own way is probably the most important part, but something that I, I've i been reading quite a bit up on how other people handle these, and apparently you should actually try and uh, have, share out the research between everyone. And having one super focused researcher like Ashkin, that's good for getting all the research done quickly. But. The thing is, the higher your knowledge points, the better that, the faster people level up their skills. Someone came over from work and slammed a door, sorry. Unfortunately, it also means that Catalina here is going to have a little bit of a problem since she can't go into science. Just to get that little bit of extra skill up points, but hmm. Alright, so let's start from the top. The oxygen masks are just a less complex version of the Atmosuit stations. They don't require power, they just require piped oxygen. We don't have piped oxygen yet, we're working on it. It's habit to make these little prongs in air stations just in case you want to install extra ones later. Uh, that sedimentary rock is actually very important, we want to keep it there. We're going to have to figure out a power system for this sooner or later. And actually this ethanol would probably be a bad thing to keep the... Yeah. We need a different liquid over here if we want to create an airlock for the oil biome because it will actually evaporate at oil biome temperatures. This connected? This is connected. Yeah, we need a bit more refined metal over here, don't we? Okay, let's think about this. Someone stands on here. It sends in a green signal. They need about 10 seconds worth of filter gate time to register that yes, this person is properly standing here. It's not just what running past. 600 seconds for the time it takes for the egg to need incubate lullabying again? And then we... 
If we register that someone's standing on it, we need to keep them standing on it so the power doesn't change. And that sends through a green signal, so at the end of it we need a red signal. Oh, printables. Pip eggs wouldn't hurt anyone. One thing that I am slightly regretting now is absolutely tearing up the place because if I had kept this area as a bit more stable I guess is the term I'm looking for, then I could have used it as a nature reserve for people. Alternatively I could turn this area into a nature reserve and oxygen production is getting just a slight bit under stat. What keeps happening? Hassan, there's loads of food. Why haven't you finished eating? It's probably time to increase the break load. Just let people have four shifts so they can have all their meals and such. I have actually been working hard on getting all my editing done. And it's sort of for the reason of, okay, I want to be able to play Three Hopes uninterrupted when the game comes out, so I'd better get all my editing done so I don't have to stop and worry about that. Yeah, there. A lot of sleep wheat over there that we're gonna lose. Also, we're kind of running out of room here, aren't we? And time and time again I think, okay, I need more copper. Wait, I can't make more copper because... Where's the copper? All of it was reserved for something. It, I think it was this system, which we'd very much like to finish working on sometime soon. And of course, at some point, we also need to dig up this cool steam vent and properly you know, trap everything involved there, so... Hmm. This is a big mess. I think you must have been laid by this Puff Prince. Meaning that, as nice as it's been to have these uh, guys uh, creating little bits of uh, oxalite for us, it's eventually going to stop. We can hook this up, change that to normal priority. All this chlorine probably needs to go. Although an easier way to do that would be to simply get this carbon skimmer working at some point and then have it remove all the carbon dioxide and all the chlorine down. There's actually a trick for when you're digging into the... They call it jungle biome, I don't like the name, but whatever. If you dig down... Wait, no, no. To get into chlorine rooms, dig down. To get into hydrogen rooms, dig up. That way it helps keep them a bit more contained. You guys close with those stone hatch eggs? Which we know we want smooth hatch eggs out of you. And... Well, at least there's plenty of coal. I glimpse around all over the place and keep thinking, right, there's something else to do when I've got the free time. But you never really do have the free time, so... So here's an important rule of thumb that I have. Whenever I'm dealing with this sort of mid-biome between the volcanic magma and the rest of the zone, it's never really worth checking out what these are because they're always the same thing. Minor Volcano, Minor Volcano, Minor Volcano. All of them are very hot things that I just don't have the capacity to deal with or the talent. the glossy dracula egg at level 9. Might as well get focus on getting this one up and running as ASAP. Plenty of uh, natural iron down there to dig up. So how have things been going over here? Alright, I think I'm actually not going to use this ethanol pool. I'm going to fill it with probably water. No, no, no. Polluted water. That holds temperature better, so it'll... Mm. The thing that we need most is a proper base. That's all there is to it. But finding somewhere with the elbow room to work with is pretty tricky. 300 watts versus the 240 watts. I think that there's one thing that I should point, point out 
Even though Wolframite is very hard to get your hands on on the uh, Fertilonona asteroid, and I've talked about how aluminum or cobalt will make uh, superconductive elements a lot easier, there's one thing that tungsten has that the others don't, so you're going to have to go for tungsten anyway. I mean, okay, the, so there's one thing to keep in mind. Um, is it niobium or thermium? So you make it to... So you make thermium by combining niobium and tungsten, and it has a stupid high overheat temperature, 900 degrees Celsius. That's nice. But here's the thing. Tungsten melts at 3,421.9 degrees Celsius. Nothing else in the game handles heat as well as this does. So while the machine, while you can't make things with an overheat temperature out of it as reliably, if you do have the Niobium, if you do, the thing is, rocketry and space stuff, this actually gets stupidly hot. Even steel is eventually going to melt in the wrong conditions. Niobium is what you want to hang, no, not Niobium, Tungsten is what you want to hang on to for the space stuff because it's got the only thing that can handle the temperature without melting. It's just a thing that came to mind while I was talking it all, sorry. Oh dear, it looks like our buffer gate didn't quite work as we wanted it to. So this has been running non-stop, but on the upside, the 17% incubation rate is pretty nice compared with its usual 3%. Turn down the requirements for that manual generator because we don't want it recharging yet. Actually, wait. This is 107 large. That's 120. So this is the right size. The question is whether we have enough uh, plants in it to count because The thing is that you, I'm 90% sure this is the case when I go back to look at it. Yeah, park has a lower size requirement. Man, what's taking the copper so long? Actually, we can just simplify it and drop the egg right there. Who has skills that haven't been? See, the trick is if I turn this room into a, into if I turn this room into a nature reserve. Everyone's going to pass through here to get their food. We can't do that with this one, unfortunately, it's just too tall. This... Hmm... It definitely shows that you need to know what sort of base you want to build before you start. Because it's a lot harder to, to change systems after you've installed them. And this doesn't count because we're missing... Yeah, we need another two plants. Someday this little pond is going to be filled, going to be completely drained so we can start building into here. Crafting station, that's what we need. But also, add, so all these stickers here, they add a lot of decor. They add a lot, a lot of decor. This is an overjoyed reaction. And where they stick up their stickers is actually kind of all over the place. We can let him lay a few more eggs. Wait a minute. Okay, I hope that's what happened. All our Sweetles have kind of died out, but there aren't any new <laughs> divergence around here. I, uh, I'm assuming it's because the Grub Grub eggs have a very long incubation time. Yeah, over here we've got all these Grub Grubs. How long does it take for this to grow? 24 cycles. No, 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 I wanted to flip it. Maybe I should... Just a little bit, so that research happens a bit faster. Yeah, it's not exactly the most eventful of episodes, but... So you can't always have a full-on major episode in this game, unfortunately. Can you be indexed in lessons? We have seen all of this. Just checking it. I haven't finished editing all of my Oxygen Not Included episodes, so my details might be a bit fuzzy, but it's not the end of the world. Someday we'll finish this Metal Refinery project. We might also want to do something about all this carbon dioxide buildup. And food rotted, clearly. 
Uh, yeah, episode over, episode over. Until next time, guys, take care. We'll see you all around.